Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Tony, lifestyle enthusiast, personal stylist. You already know. Anyway, today I am doing a different video. You know I like to do like fashion style videos every now and then, but this is completely different. I've never done something like this. So please let me know if it's boring or if it is something you are interested in because I will definitely do more of these in the upcoming seasons. But today I am decluttering my winter closet and turning it into a summer closet. So let's just get right into this. I really don't know how to start this video. I've never done something like this, but I thought I would switch it up today because my inspiration has been out the door. You guys already know I have not uploaded in weeks and I'm struggling. So if you guys actually have video ideas, let me know because I love YouTube. I don't wanna like throw it away, but I don't know what to film anymore. It's rough in the streets, let me tell you. But let's just get into this video. So let me just start by taking away all of my like hot sweater material pieces. I'm gonna keep these because these are kind of summery. I keep a like coat rack of just little sweaters and robes and stuff here. And these are okay to keep, but some of the stuff here, Absolutely not. So let's start with this. This is super cute, but I only really wear this in the fall because it is orange and it is very festive. So I don't think I'm gonna wear it in the summer even though it's a pretty summery blazer. Mm, actually, no, I might keep it. It's colorful. Um, this I am putting away because I never wear this. Um, I would show you guys all the pieces, but we would literally be here for 30 minutes. Um, but this stuff, it's just gonna be tossed. You guys already saw this though, way too hot for the winter, or summer I mean. We'll get rid of, actually no, that's kind of summery. Basically all of this stuff, I keep my closet pretty organized. I keep like sweaters and thick materials towards the back. And I also try to color code it, if you can tell. But it gets pretty jumbled throughout the year, like that's a given. But a lot of the sweater stuff, like all of this stuff can go, I think. Literally all of this stuff, so we can get rid of this. Ooh. Oh, this was like my favorite thing to wear this winter. I wore this Glacier National Park hoodie, or not hoodie, crew neck. What do you call these without the necks? Is that a crew neck sweater? I don't know, I wore this all the time. That was like my favorite thing this winter. These can go. This can go. And then I'm gonna keep my leather jackets just because A, they're super cute, and B, you can kind of wear them on like a chillier day in the summer. And you won't overheat, but you'll probably be sweating. But I'm gonna keep those. Let's move on to pants. My overalls, I am not gonna be wearing these in the summer. These, absolutely not. These ones, maybe, 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 maybe. I think I'm gonna keep the rest of the jeans because these don't really take up a lot of space. Oh. And then my skirt I've worn once. You guys know, I like I don't really, I mean, I cross dress, but I don't really wear dresses or skirts or anything, but I wore a skirt once to the 777 event here on my channel. I did a whole vlog about it. And I was actually really feeling this, but I'm also kind of like, I don't know about it. Like it's not super into my lifestyle, but it's cute. So I have all of my summer clothes in a big pile on my floor. So let me start to bring them up. This first one was oh so lovely last year. I love this one so much. I wore this all the time. This was from Express. I put this in my summer clothing haul last year, I wanna say, and I wore this all the time. I just love the pattern of it. I'm, again, not gonna explain all of these clothes because we would literally be here forever, but I'm gonna put this one up for sure. And then I will color code them once I get them all up there. Um, this one I kind of feel like not hanging up because Oh wait, did I get the stain out? I think I got the stain out. <laughs> she can go up. I used to never wear this. I wore this uh, v-neck all the time. Let me show you guys again. I got this at such a young age and it was my favorite v-neck for the longest time, but I got a stain on one of these shoulders and I couldn't wear it anymore, but I don't really see the stain. The weird thing is I would wash this shirt so many times over and over again and I could never get the stain out, but now I don't see it. So I think I'm gonna start wearing it again. <laughs> that can go up there. Um, I have all of my shirts and everything. Let's start with the white shirts, actually. I'll go over these quickly. This is another one that I love, but I can never wear because it has a stain on it. This is Michael Kors, and this I kind of spent a pretty dollar on, but look at this. Do you guys see uh, here? It's so small, but it's really noticeable to me, and I hate wearing this because I feel like it makes me look dirty, but it's so cute and comfortable. It's literally made out of the softest material. I don't know what it is, though. Mm. Polyester. This is some nice polyester. 
And then I have very similar shirts. Like this one is really similar to the Michael Kors, so I like wear this in place of the Michael a lot of the times. This one is from Agachi though. Oh, and again, this one has a stain on it too. It's not as noticeable, but someone tell me why I'm the dirtiest person on the planet. Should I just throw this out? I don't, it looks like a coffee stain. This is not coming out. I don't know, I might try to wash it again. That is so frustrating. And then I have these two from Express. This is like my all time favorite shirt to wear in the summer. It's just sheer and lightweight and it's so comfortable. This was again in my clothing haul for summer last year. A lot of these are very similar, you guys. I don't make a lot of money, so my wardrobe does not change very often, <laughs> if you guys haven't noticed already. Um, but we're gonna put these up here. And then white shirts are gonna go in the front. So I need to put all these down. Oof. I think that's what I'll do. I think I will organize it and then put the hooks up. I always put my hooks up in the little um, like rail thing where you're not supposed to put them, but I put them there because it's so much more organized. Like they're all evenly spaced. And it really just like fulfills my OCD, which I don't have, but like maybe I do. These two shirts, these are the exact same shirts from American Apparel. I used to wear these a lot, except I don't know what it is about my chesticles, but my nipples like to show through every single shirt. Like even this shirt, you guys don't know. Fun little, what do you call it? Not life hack, well I guess it's a life hack. It's a life hack for me. But I will always like stick a couple band-aids on so that they don't show throughout thin shirts because that is like my biggest pet peeve. Not with girls or anything, like free the nipple, like free the nipple though. But like for me, like it's just like super annoying and I feel super like weird if my nipples are just like, hey, so I always like tape them down. But those I would have to wear with these shirts a lot because they are super thin, but they are soft and really cute, just super basic tees. So I wear these a lot in the summer. This from Express, I wore this in my Bath and Body Works haul, I'm pretty sure. This is super cute, I love this a lot. It's kind of like it's kind of like this, it's a little off the shoulder, but it's not completely off the shoulder. And it's just blue and cute, so we're gonna put this back up for summer. And then a ton more button-ups, all from Express. You guys know I used to work at Express, so I got a lot of the clothes, clearly. So I have these summery color button-ups here. This one is one of my favorites, again, for summer because it's lightweight and sheer. These two are a little heavier, but they are summer appropriate. They're just basic button-ups. These are the super popular shirts that express the Portofinos. These have been in the collection since literally like the beginning of time, and they are not going anywhere anytime soon. So if you want to pick up some Portofinos, they are very professional, they are very comfortable, and they're good for the summer. I swear, Express, please sponsor me. I know I worked for you, but like, please. Give me more money. This one I have not worn in a long time because it loves to wrinkle on me and just look really ugly. But it's kind of cute. It's just like a little um, cardigan nude. Just a little pinky nude. It's cute. It kind of matches my nails right now. I have really short, ugly nails right now. Again, more cardigans. This one has the ugliest stain though. I feel like I should literally just throw it out because look, do you see like this? This isn't a hole. This is a stain, you guys. And I don't know what it is. It looks like bleach. I don't know how. I don't know where. But... I th should probably just throw this. I'm not even gonna put this up. This is gonna go in the trash. I don't think I should give it away, right? If it has stains on it. I don't. I feel like that's a little rude to give away something with stains. Maybe though, I don't know, we'll see. This again from Express. This is okay for the summer. It could be kind of hot though, but it's just a cute cardigan. It has like a little um, bunching in the back, you know, where it like pulls your waist in tight. Oh, but it has a hole in it. <laughs> Yeah, we're not gonna put this up. This is one of my all-time favorite shirts. This is from, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Oslan or Caslan. Let me show you guys. Caslan, is that what that is? I don't know, but I love the color and the way it fits me, it literally just pulls my waist in so tight. It's so cute, perfect length. And I wear this all the time. I like overworn this, but I'm still gonna overwear it this summer again because I think this was kind of pricey. I don't really remember, but I'm definitely getting my use out of it. It's still intact, and I just love how it looks on me, so it's gonna go back up. This one from Forever 21, I literally like never wear, but I can't seem to get rid of it for some reason. I got this in DC with my eighth grade trip a long time ago, so it kind of like holds sentimental value, but at the same time, I literally have never worn it out. I think I wore it in a video once, but never outside the house, so. But I'm still gonna put it up because I literally can't throw it away. And then I have all of my shorts here. I have like a basic American Eagle white short that's just very boyish. And then I have Express Express Loft. 
love. Oh, awesome, another fucking stain. It looks like I sat on makeup. How does that happen? So these I'm just gonna throw up in front of all the jeans and hopefully forget about the jeans for the summertime. <sighs> I'm literally starting to sweat. I'm so out of shape. And then we'll put this one up. And this crop t-shirt that I have not worn yet that I actually really love. I should have worn it last fall when I got it, but I didn't for some reason. This one I might have worn in a video, but it's just like this red crushed velvet top. I can't remember if I wore this. I remember trying it on a million times just in my room, maybe thinking about wearing it, but I can't tell if I ever actually wore it. But I'm definitely going to have to this summer. And then this black one from Akira is so cute. This would have to be to like a festival or something though. Like it's completely sheer, but it has this lace detail and when you wear it, it's literally so bomb. I wore this in a picture a long time ago on my Instagram of me like laying down, being sensual, just like an Instagram Barbie. I haven't worn it since, I don't think, but I have to wear this out. It's literally so cute. Akira is the place to shop, by the way. It's so cheap and everything is so like, just, I don't know, everything's so in. It's very trendy. So I love that store and I'm definitely gonna have to wear this. Um, It looks like that's everything from my floor. So let's organize. A gold body chain hanging in there. I don't know why. I love this though. This is from Guess. I think I've shown you guys this before. It's one of my favorite pieces. Um, I don't know where to put that though. Okay, so that is about it. We'll put that back up there. Okay, so that is about it. Honestly, when I reorganize my closet, I make it super simple and quick because no one has time to like sit around all day and do their closet. You know, you want to like get stuff done and move on to the next thing and just make sure it all looks good and presentable and how you like it as soon as possible. Because life's too short to just dwindle on something for so long. You know what I mean? So this is done. I'm happy with it. And like I said, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I realized it might have been a little boring. I feel weird because I'm just sort of like standing, talking, going through my clothes. But if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know. And also let me know if you want to see a summer try-on haul, like summer outfits ideas. I really want to go shopping and splurge a little. If I do that, I will definitely do a video on a new summer clothing haul and do a try-on for you guys. But until then, you guys enjoy the start of your summer wherever you are. And I will go enjoy the start of mine. <laughs> Okay, until next video. Bye, guys.